some cakes for the sheep again. Get spoiled here. Yeah, mate. Nice them, aren't they? Look at that. Get some good scran here, mate. What up, YouTubers? Shenadine's in the house. This is uh, part five of the transit project. So I've given it a good pressure washing and got rid of all the insulation and everything inside and underneath. So yeah, had all that insulation crap all in, inside at bulkhead there. So I scraped it all off and give it a good pressure washing. So that's a bit easier to work with now. All in the back deck here as well. And then um, all underneath as well, give it a good pressure washing. So, start doing a bit of work on it. And then on the front end, I'm gonna start doing a bit on this leg now. Now I've got access to it. So I'll start doing a bit of chopping and that. So, get into that, I think. Have a nice little fire. I've done a bit of chopping, cut all the bad bit out of the the leg there. Uh, cut all the bits of patches that have been put on. I've got to cut all this off. Chop that out. Ready for my other piece, which is coming tomorrow. So yeah, it's getting there slowly. So I've done a bit more chopping. I'm gonna do a bit more as well. Just got to get another sliver down there, chopped out. Uh, got a bit of plate there, so I can. Do this section, I've got to make this section now, but I'm going to chop that off, chop it off here, make a section for that. Um, and then reinforce all this. I've got a ratchet strap on it at the minute because it was twisted and it is actually straight now. So, there wasn't much holding it on though. <laughs> uh, flattened all this and then pulled all this out as well. So, it's, it's getting to shape how I want it anyway because all this was all in, so I've pulled that out as well. So, yeah, it's not too bad. I've got this section as well. This got delivered. It's slightly wrong, though, but not much wrong. So, basically, that goes there like that. And if you can see, it's, it's a different shape than this, and the holes don't match up. These holes don't match up to this one. If you put it right to the front where the front holes are, that matches up but it don't matter anyway because I'm having a plate on so it'll be all right somewhere near loads of goodies for the tranny got me six speed gear change with the gate on this one so that'll be all right hopefully that's come cool. got this stuff it's meant to be really good stuff actually Vactin it's like um, a rust curer it's, you know that chemical stuff water based spray it on or brush it on and it converts the rust and that you can go over it with anything apart from cellulose you can't go over it with cellulose which we don't want cellulose anyway um you got some weld through primer as well the zinc based stuff a few cans of etch primer all u pol it's good stuff u pol uh, got the stone chip, white stone chip, U pole again, uh, for the gun, and I can I can paint over that. So I'm going to do that underneath the bonnet, and I'll, because it's white, I can spray over it in like the the cream colour, so it'll look better. And then underneath the vehicle, can't beat this stuff, the original shuts. So yeah, good stuff that bitumen based. So. Whack loads of that underneath, and I've I've actually I've got some wax oil from years ago, um, which I'm gonna try and get in all the cavities. You know, just get one of them uh, pipes on the end of my gun, and then uh, you know, like all the holes like that. Just get the pipe in and just fill it all up everywhere. Try and get all the box section and chassis and that filled up with wax oil. Once I've done it all, once I've done all the welding because it's proper flammable stuff, so do it after the welding, innit? Bit of welding. Be on there a minute.
bit stronger. All those underneath there as well. That's that plate done. So I've just seam welded the little cracks and where it was all non-existent, just gone over it. I know it looks dead rough at the minute, but I'm going to plate it as well. Like do some little right angle plates and weld it to the chassis. I just seam welded it all inside here as well. And uh, built it all up where all the cracks were and that. So should be all right when I get some plates on it. Just done one patch there. So I'm going to do another one underneath now. So just got this piece in the vise. But because I want to bend it with a radius, just doing it on the back of a screwdriver. So. Is it a bit of a radius then? It's just where I've put the weld, you see. You know, like I've done with that one, just put a radius in it. So that's the other little piece I've just cut out. It's just going to gonna go there like that. So get that welded on and uh, should be a bit stronger, that really. So I just welded that other plate on as well. Should toughen it up a bit, that. It'll be stronger than what it was anyway. And I just uh, made another plate for on top here. And just got to make a section for the face of that now, but I'm going to treat it all inside first. And then um, got to weld some nuts inside, like the other side, you know, for the bumper. So I'll weld some plates inside and some nuts as I'm building it. Rust treatment stuff seems to have done the trick anyway, so that's not too bad. But <laughs> thought I'd have a dig at this leg here, chop it all off. You know the old plating, what someone else has done when they attach the leg. So got that bit off, and look at the state of all that. <laughs> There's another two layers there, so all that's getting chopped out. And um, I've had a go at the inside as well. Get underneath here. Had a little chopping session at this as well. And this isn't much better. Like a couple of patches, a patch on a patch. A load of horrible snotty welding there. So I'm inside it anyway, and that's not the best is it? So I'll sort all that out I think, make it nice and strong and neat. So that's the second and third layer out. <laughs> so I've made this section of 2mm, just done a bit of folding and chopping and that and then uh, cut everything out here because it was really weak anyway so this will just fit over that like that a bit of fettling uh, but yeah it fits all right so i'll be able to seam that all the way around and then underneath the wing as well fits all right underneath there And then uh, inside, I'll be able to put that little bit of reinforcement section weld that. So yeah, it should be nice and strong that, once I've felled it all in and welded it up and that. A bit better than the last section what I chopped out. So I just welded all that. She's still smoking. Put uh, all that plate's on. Looks a bit neater, stronger. Have a look underneath the wing. There she is, all nice and strong. And then inside, I've just welded that reinforcement section back on there as well. So that's going to be well strung. That not going anywhere. That and it's all nice and straight. 
So I've got the rust converter in the cavities there of the old part of the leg and the outrigger. It's doing its uh, job, all right there. Got a bit of etch primer on that section that I've done there as well. Ready for uh, under sealing. It's on the inside as well. Looks a bit neater than the other one that was on there. So that's not too bad now, that. So I just put some weld through etch primer on that. So I'm just going to uh, start with this section now. I'll probably bolt that down. I'll put some new holes in because the old ones didn't really align up. So bolt that down, clamp it down and get all the wing in the right place and start building that in a wing up now. So I patched it up. Nice piece there, 1.5 mil. Seamed it all the way around. I know it doesn't look neat, but I'll neaten it up and that before I stone chip it. Got that section in, that's all right. I've not really welded much on this. Got four bolts in it anyway. I've just welded them and welded a bit on the other side under the wing. So underneath here. Welded all that as well. Looks rough at the minute, but get all under seal on it. Should be all right. It's all nice and secure now anyway, so I've got to fill, I've got to do all that bit of welding up there, sort that mess out. Yeah, and uh, start on the floor pan then after that, but yeah, it's getting there slowly. So now, I'll start building up this little section here, I think. Let's do a flat piece and then do that funky shape there. Get, get that boxed off, I think, now. A little bit of a uh, bent and chopped up metal. <laughs> Put some little nuts on the back with some plates and that. It's got to mount the bumper to it, but yeah, I mean, I'll get it on there. Something like that, and uh, yeah, she'll get there. I'll weld all that bit and that, smooth it off a little bit. You don't really see it anyway because it's behind all the bumper and that, so should do me. So I welded that section on. Uh, just fill welded it, got to grind it all back, put a little patch in here. So it's getting there slowly. Welded it at the back, I've just got to finish it off. Welded it right up there and just got to weld them little tabs. A bit more welded up there and yeah, it's getting there slowly. Just get it all smoothed off now, I think. So I've got that section on now. I just... Uh, Ground all the welds down somewhere in there. It's a bit rough, but get a bit of filler on it and that, and then a uh, stone chip over it. Won't be able to notice it, the bumper goes over it anyway. So, yeah, that's another bit done. So, I finally got hold of an arm for a right hand drive. Uh, got it off eBay. There it is, there. Uh, it looks like the right one. Gonna chuck it on in a minute, make sure it's all right. So, got it off eBay, a guy called Dave, uh, Bentley Boy. 2010. Um, I also got, I didn't realise, but I got the Mark III steering box off him as well, so he's pretty good. So nice one for that. Um, I'm going to chuck this on. I've put the drop arm from the Mark I on it, because the Mark III's have a straight one. But it fits straight on anyway, so that's all right. And they're pretty much identical. Obviously, that's a left-hand drive on, but they're pretty much identical it's just they have a different, you know, like uh, bottom section where it has a UJ on the Mark III and the shaft goes straight in it on the Mark I. But I can sort that out, no problem. I've had to just modify this bit, which I got. Um, like I say, it was slightly different. It fits all right, it's, you know, it's no problem. But I just had to grind a bit out of the inner because it didn't have that curvature there where the arm goes, the drop arm. So I just had to grind that out a bit. So all fits now. And I've just got to drill the holes out a little bit bigger. So yeah, I'll get this left hand drive arm off and then put the other arm which I've got on the other side and get that link from the other side and put it on this side. That's the left hand drive arm. See if this little beauty fits now. Perfect. Now 
Three days. So it's on. Just got to nip it up. And then uh, just got to swap that side to the other side now. Flip it round and that's it. Right hand drive. Give a quick cut, etch primer. That'll do. So today I've decided I'm gonna take the front axle off and the springs and everything because I want to do all the bushes and uh, I want to overhaul all the brakes and everything. So makes sense just to take them all off. And uh, I'll have a bit more room then underneath the arches to do all them little bits of welding in the uh, under ceiling and everything. So I'll whip that off. There it is. It's not that bad actually. Had uh, some packer plates so I can take them out. And that'll lower it by, I don't know, three quarters of an inch. As you can see there, they, they have a couple of them. And the spring sits on him, so yeah. That's in quite good nick, actually. So yeah, I refurb that anyway. Looks like it's had the kingpins done already. Yeah, there's no play in them neither. And the bearings feel good. But I'll strip it down and check everything. Check the calipers. Uh, paint all the back plates up and everything and obviously get all the bushes for the springs the rear shackles were a bit knackered well one of them was really knackered I think it's this one yeah look <laughs> at them bolts there how they've worn worn big grooves in them so I have to get a new one of them, that's well bent and worn. So I'll either get one if I can get them or make one. So, yeah, and like I say, all bushes and everything. Well, at least I can get everything now. Underneath, loads of room now to get everywhere. Get right underneath. So I'll just refurb all that, chuck a bit of paint at it and that. Ready for going back on. So i just done loads of rust treatment all underneath the inner wings and that, I just got some in my shuts gun uh, got that wrapped and stuff in the shuts gun and uh, I've gone up, oh underneath gone mad with the stuff may as well isn't it well underneath the inner wings as well may as well get it all in there let that go off on the other side as well And uh, just got to do them patches and that. So I'll let that go off now. So she's getting there slowly. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this one, I think. Uh, I'll do another video. I want to do a bit more work on her and that and update Yeah. So thanks for watching. Check out my other videos and that. And I'll catch you on the next one.